guess, uh, I, I, like I said, it, it's hard to really make a solid comment when you don't know exactly all the facts. And, uh, and I just heard yes, yes. some stuff, and, and what you hear sometimes, you don't know what's always true or not true. But you said a statement out last night, admitting that you didn't know that it was illegal, banned. but it is banned. It's, it's apparently they sent out some sort of paperwork several months ago warning everyone that this particular company in this particular. Do I think that made VJ player the player there is? No, you know I know that you know certainly it's an issue in the sport. You know, we need to have drug testing, and you know I'm fine with that. But the way I look at it, you know golf is a little bit a different, unique sport compared to other major sports. Um, from the standpoint, you know mentally, uh, you know I, I just believe that sometimes if you just take good care of yourself physically. Uh, mentally, you know, that's something that you have to control. No one can help you, really, no medication. But, I mean, I, I just, I don't see that having a huge, huge impact in this game. But, you know, I think it's wise to have the testing. And, you know, I was obviously a little bit surprised, you know, with what I heard. But I don't think VJ is a guy that would ever really try to take advantage of anything. I know VJ, I like VJ. Um, I know he turns 50 this next month. You know, I was asking him if the father's son in December he was going to come out and play against the Champions Tour. And he said, ah, you don't know. They all, everybody always says that. And I said, oh, the reason why you don't come out is because you're scared. You're going to kick your butt out there on that Champions Tour. But, no, VJ, he'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be what, fine. what do they do to him? I mean, I don't he, know. he's admitted that he's taken a band. What do they do? What, I mean, I, I guess, you know, they could probably, probably suspend him for a couple of months. Almost have to, don't you? Yeah, I would think so. Uh, you know, I don't know what the commissioner, if he's made a statement or not. Not yet. There are still. Are they looking into it? So, you know, listen, people have, have had to pay the price for it. Uh, he should be no different. If that's the case and the commissioner and the tour feels that he needs to be, you know, suspended for X amount of time, I think BJ's man enough to help He'll do that. I'm surprised to hear he's still playing in Phoenix. And could you envision what the 16th hole would be like? <laughs> he has not withdrawn. I don't even know. Well, I, I, you know, I'd be surprised if he has a play in there. You know, I really would be. But like I said, I, you know, I feel like BJ is a friend. I like BJ. You know, I, I wish the best for him and his family. But you know, the penalty of, of not knowing. Sometimes it's happened in other sports where guys are taking vitamins. You know, so I think he's tried to bend the rules now. Just going back to what you were saying about golf being sort of a bit different from other I think it is. Sports. You know, it's not like cycling, it's not like football, it's not like rugby. You know, in golf, you know, you got to be really calm. And I know at times there was a big story or talks about, you know, maybe beta blockers. But I just don't think it, you know, is that big of an issue in our sport. That's just my opinion. But, the, but there is much more of a gym culture within the modern well, well, game now. Well, well there is. And, you know, the athletes are just bigger and stronger. I mean, if you walk on the golf course today and you walk on the range, when I came out on the tour in 1981, I mean, Tom Weisskopf was a giant. And he was one of very few that was, you know, 6'1 or 6'2, something like that. Well, every athlete today that's playing this game is that size. I mean, there's not a lot of dominant players, you know, at 5'11 or 10. You know, you're going to have guys that will play well, like a Luke Donnelly, but to really dominate consistently, you know, this game requires power. And a lot of that power has come about because guys are more physically fit, they're in the gym a lot, and they're bigger, stronger athletes. And the game's grown because of the media, because of Tiger, uh, you know, certainly what he's done, and now Rory's come along. So the players are better, but, you know, so I know that... that the doping issue more on the agenda? No, no. I just, I know that you all want to think that, but I, listen, I'm a pro of 33 years, and I, I just don't see that, I'll be honest with you, I really don't. I'm 56. 56. Oh, well, do you think two months then is about the right punishment? You know, I don't know what I don't know the tour's philosophy. You know, they always keep it pretty quiet. Um, I, I I couldn't really make a comment on how long his suspension should be. But you know, if he was using a banned substance, then other people have used him and, and been suspended. And a lot of times, they don't make it known to the media what the actual substance was, whether it was you know recreational drug or any other issue. So, you know, they try to keep it under the cover, so I, I don't know what the suspension should be. Have you ever heard